Hello. Hello. Hi, good evening. ¿Cómo están? Bien, Marielos, Claudia. Muy bien. Good, ok, perfecto. Déjeme que estaba tomando un poquito de agua. So are you ready for the class? Yes? Okay, very good. So today we're going to uh, well, keep working with WH questions and a few more topics that we're going to work with, right? But first, um, I need you to tell me if you remember, hello, William, if you remember the, when are you going to use the WH questions? Right. For example, if I have the WH questions, what, when, which, para que la vamos a usar? What are you going to use them for? What am, why am I going to use who, for example? ¿Cuál es el propósito de usar who? Personal question. To ask for a person, okay, very good. To ask for a person, and what else? If I have, for example, where? ¿Qué quiero saber cuando utilizo where? What do I want ¿Dónde? to know if I have this? ¿Dónde? ¿Dónde? Lugar, okay, very good. What about when? ¿Cuándo? Cuando, okay, when I want to know about the place. Okay, very good. When I want to know about the place. Uh, okay, William, there's no problem. Entonces ahí nos va a estar escuchando. No hay problema. So what about why? When are you going to use why? Okay. Yeah, when you want to know the reason. Okay, cuando quieren utilizar las razones. Solamente voy a hacer énfasis en que a veces no vamos a traducir exactamente las WH questions, así como por qué, cuándo, dónde, cuál, no. Sino que a veces es el sentido de lo que queremos preguntar. ¿Ok? Just to make that clear. Porque a veces no se dice why, por qué quieres saber esto, sino que cuáles son las razones que tal y tal cosa. ¿Ok? So, just to make this sure. Entonces, ¿nos recordamos de las WH questions today? Do we remember WH questions? Yes. Yes? So, so? Yes, I do. Okay. So, let's see here. Because we were working with this yesterday. So, look at these examples here that we have. Can you see the examples? So, we have examples with where, for example, here. And with this where, I say, where are you going to go to party, right? So here, exactly. So here, I'm asking where is giving me this answer to the discotheque, right? To the discotheque. Eso es lo que yo quiero saber, el lugar, right? Por eso se les he puesto el mismo color, para que veamos acá qué es lo que queremos saber. I have where in the place, right? Because that's what I'm asking for. And then I have this. Uh, Jorge, can you help me out and read this? Repeat the question, please. Can you, can you read this question? ¿Puede le ayudarme a leer esta oración, esta pregunta? No, no, no está haciendo en la pantalla nada. No la mira. Uy, no. qué loca. No. Eh. Okay, can you see it now? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay, very good. Yes, and I'm learning, teaching the Jamie. Okay. Cuando no se las muestre me avisa, okay? Sin pena. So I have here, I have where the first one, and I want to know this. Right. Este es, estamos viendo ahorita el, 
la fórmula que practicamos ayer. WH plus B plus subject plus going to plus verb plus complement. Right? So, but I, what I want to know is this. I want to know a place. Right? So you say, where are you going to go to party? I'm going to go to the discotheque. Right? So I want to know this. Por eso se los pongo de mismo color, para que lo vean aquí. Right? So I want to know this. Right? I want to know who. Jorge, can you read this part? Who? Who are you going to visit on December? Okay. And the answer is, I am? I am going to visit my mother on December. I am going to visit my mother. Okay, very good. Entonces estamos tratando de asociar estas WH questions con lo que queremos preguntar, right? So I have another where. Where are you going to have a vacation on December? Right? And look at this. Here the verb is have, pero tenemos otro ejemplo aquí con otro verbo. Pero la respuesta, it's very similar. Tiene sentido con lo que estoy tratando de con lo que me han preguntado y lo que yo respondo. Aunque no utilicemos el mismo verbo, a veces nos van a dar una respuesta que corresponde con la pregunta que estamos haciendo. Right? So the question is, where are you going to have a vacation on December? I am going to visit Cerro Verde on December, for example. Right? Or I'm going to have a vacation in Cerro Verde on December. So I have here, where, and where, right? So ya nos acordamos un poco de el uso de, de las WH questions? No? Hello? Yes, yes teacher. Yes, fine now? Okay, recuerden que no les puedo ver las caritas a todas, entonces, si no me dicen sí o no, no, no voy a saber, right? Okay, so we have these examples. What else, what other example can you give me? If I have this. Dígame otro ejemplo para recordarnos. This is the, this is the formula that we share. WH plus B plus subject plus going to plus verb plus complement. What could be another example? ¿Cuál podría ser otro ejemplo? What's another example? Hello. Beautiful people. ¿Podría dar uno yo? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Uh, what are you going to put for Father's Day? Perfect. Perfect, Claudia. What are you going to cook for Father's Day? That's perfect. Another example. Otro, otro más. Which is your favorite sport? Which is your favorite sport? Mm -hmm. Okay, and where is going to there? For example, um, ¿Cómo, puedo agregar, ¿Cómo puedo agregar ah. going to? La pregunta está perfecta, ah, okay. William. Okay, La okay. pregunta está perfecta, pero ¿cómo le agrego going to? Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Which is your favorite sport, and where do you do you prefer to practice? Yes, your your questions are perfect, mm -hmm. William. But we're mm -hmm. following this structure about going to. Yes, and if you tell okay. me which is your favorite sport. Mm -hmm. That's perfect, right? Okay. Está correcta, ¿verdad? Todos, está correcta? Which is your favorite sport? Mm -hmm. Okay, está correcta. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Perfecta la oración. Pero, ¿qué es lo que pasa? Es que no sé, no, ahorita no estamos viendo esa estructura. Okay. Estamos viendo la estructura de going to. So, I can ask, for example. Teacher. Yes, Teacher. Samuel. Why? 
Where, where are you going to eat a special restaurant? Okay. But if you ask that, Samuel, William, please write your examples and then you tell me. Going to eat a special restaurant. Yo voy a escribir lo que me digan, okay? If we have this, where are you going to eat a special restaurant? ¿Qué nos pasa con esta oración? What's going on with this example? We want to ask where, right? Queremos saber esto, where. ¿Qué pasa acá? Está preguntando está dónde, pero como está respondiendo a, a, qué, a dónde va a ir. Very good. Exactly, very good. Very good. Eso es lo que yo quiero. Eso es lo que vamos a analizar aquí todos. Entonces, por eso, por eso traemos nuestros propios ejemplos para que nosotros mismos los analicemos. ¿Ok? Entonces, todos nos vamos a ayudar. Si yo digo where, Samuel, ya me estoy respondiendo yes. acá con... Yes. Especial, ya me estoy respondiendo ah, acá ah. con special restaurant. Right? Ah, so, I have okay. here... Where are you going to eat uh, for Father's Day? Uh, okay. okay. Where are you going okay. to eat for Father's Day, Samuel? And what was the answer? Uh, 70. Este, June 70. No. No. Because I'm asking where. I'm not asking the date. Right? I'm asking where. Uh, I am. Mm -hmm. I am going to eat for Father's Day. I am going to eat where? Yes, Father's Day. To eat. For example. What, what is the example here? What are we asking someone? We're asking for a place. I am going uh, to eat. I am going to eat for Father's Day. Yes, but what is the place? ¿Cuál es el lugar? Estamos tratando ah, de encontrar el lugar. Where? Where are ah, you going especial, to Especial restaurant. Okay, and in a special in a restaurant? In a special for, restaurant. For Father's Day. For Father's Day. Okay, very good. So what I want you to pay attention to is that we need to provide the answers where, and what I'm going to put here in blue is in a special restaurant. Esa es la respuesta que estamos buscando cuando hacemos esa pregunta. Right? Eso es lo que estamos preguntando. Mm -hmm. Where are you going to eat for Father's Day? I am going to eat in a special restaurant for Father's Day. No estoy preguntando el qué, con quién, cómo, sino que en dónde. Right? That's okay. what I want to know. Right? Ok, entonces recordemos que cada una de estas palabras, incluidas las dos que nos dijo, eh, no me recuerdo quién ayer, eh, con whose and which, están incluidas para preguntar acá qué es lo que vamos, que son preguntas que nos van a dar más información. Pero tenemos que darle sentido, no podemos solo ponerlas porque sí. Right? Tell me another example. Alguien más, un ejemplo más. Yo, uh, ¿Cuál es? When, yo. Alejandro, ok. Eh, when is why are you going to El Salvador? Alejandro, solo uno le veo. Alejandro, when? When is uh -huh. she going to travel in El Salvador? When is she going to travel? In El Salvador or to El, El Salvador? Salvador? In El Salvador. In El Salvador. Andar por todo El Salvador. Okay. When is she going to travel in El Salvador? Okay. In El Salvador. When is she going to travel in El Salvador? What is the possible answer for this? Uh, let's see. Uh, she is going to travel in El Salvador next month. She is going to travel in El Salvador. Next month, I like this. Porque vamos a ver este tipo de palabras. Next month. She's go when? 
right? We're asking this and we need to answer this next month, right? We're given the time. We're given a period of time, right? Recordemos que cuando decimos when, no estamos hablando solamente de un día. Podemos hablar de un día, de un año, de un periodo de tiempo. Eh, de, puede ser eh, con frases like tomorrow, next year, next, next Sunday, next Saturday, next month, right? But always, 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 always referring to the future. Todas esas palabras tienen que ser referidas al futuro. Ok? Very good. So, ¿ya nos recordamos que son las WH questions? Yes? No? Yes. Ok, very good. So, we're going to practice this example here. Can you see this? On the screen? Pueden ver el ejercicio? Yes. 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 Okay, very good. So, Marielos, can you please read the instruction? Group, group work. Complete this conversation with the correct form of the, of the going to practice the correct pronunciation. Very good. So, we have letter A is completed. Ya no dieron la respuesta de la primera. Vamos a trabajar en parejas, right? But with the first one, we have letter A. Where are you going to spend summer vacation, right? That's the question. And letter B says, my parents and I, what would be the answer for this? We're going to use this verb, visit, right? So what, what should I write here? My parents and I. Gonna visit. Are. Are, uh -huh. are what? Are going to be going to going to visit visit. Okay, Maya, can you give me the whole answer? Dígame toda la respuesta. Sería esa misma, Sí. Tell me the answer. Yeah, my parents and my, I. My my parents and I. Um, are, are going to this is my grandfather my grandparents very good my parents and i are going to visit my grandparents okay very good tenía un grupo que me decía la vez pasada my parents and i am porque tenemos aquí i verdad dice mire es am por qué no es am sino que es are qué me puede responder eso Because it's not for one person, it's three We're persons. talking in plural, very good. No estamos hablando de, de solamente yo, ¿verdad? Sino que estamos hablando en plural. Estamos diciendo, my parents and I, right? So we're talking in plural. Entonces, si es my parents and I, ¿cuál sería el subject pronoun que lo, que lo acompaña? Is I, you, Are. we, we. Us. We, very good, we, thank, thank you, Johnny. It's we, very good, it's we. So we have there, we, sería lo mismo, si ponemos we are going to visit my grandparents. Perfect. Right? Very good. So, ya tenemos dos, ya tenemos dos, dos oraciones completas. Vamos a trabajar en parejas y vamos a, a responder cada una de las que nos quedan. Vamos a usar los verbos que tenemos entre paréntesis, como nos decía Camarielos. Vamos a utilizar los verbos en paréntesis y vamos a completar las oraciones. But, we are going to practice the correct pronunciation. Is that clear? Yes? ¿Estamos okay. bien con eso? Ok, very good. So, I will send this, I will send this uh, picture right now to your... Uh, WhatsApp, so you can have it. Y después me van a dar la respuesta. Ustedes también. Deme un segundito. Lo estoy enviando. ¿Quién está viendo caso cerrado? Que le pueda bajar, por favor. Sí, cabal. Siempre recordemos de, de, de poner los, los micrófonos en mute. Solo cuando participemos. Muchas gracias. Después nos dicen cómo estuvo caso cerrado. Okay. Después nos cuentan. So, 
Do, did you receive the picture? Yes? Did you get the picture? ¿Ya la recibieron? Okay, you have it on your WhatsApp. Very good. So we're going to work right now with uh, groups, right? We're going to work in groups on, in pairs. Tal vez uno me queda de, de tres. De ahí todos los demás vamos a trabajar en parejas. Okay, so let's go. Démosle click. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Just click, click, click. Let's go. Let's go to the group, Dennis. Dennis. Dennis, are you there? Ay, pero la una ya está. Yes. <laughs> one is there. Continue. Do you have a question? No. No? Are you sure? Yes. Okay, perfect. Mauricio, do you have a question? Yes. ¿Preguntas? Eh, uh -huh. eh, no, 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 no. No, okay. No. Okay, very good. So keep practicing. I will go to another group. Okay. Bye. 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 Hi. Hi. Do you have questions? No. No? No, no. Alejandra? Everything no. clear? Yes. Okay, perfect. So I will let you work then. Sigan trabajando. I... Okay. Yes, Dennis? O Fernando? Hola, hola. Sí, ahorita, ahorita estaba buscando la, la imagen para ponerla. Ok, ok. Bye bye, then. Va. Hola, hola. Hi. Do you have questions? Yes, Hola. 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 One more time. Where are you going to spend? Summer vacation. It's Are you going to visit my grandfather's? Okay. How are you going to invite to Tuskegee to Thanksgiving dinner? Josué. Josué. Um, hey boy. <laughs> I'm going to ask my family and, and some good friends. Nice. Very good. Very good. Very good. Do you have a question, guys? Tiene alguna pregunta? For a moment, not, not no, not for the moment. Okay. Very good. No, Thank you. Okay, bye bye. A tweet. It is a. Teacher, we have a padres. question. You have a question, okay? Yes. What's your question? Um, number four mm -hmm. is how I think is how is your parents going to celebrate? And okay. Mario say is how are your parents? going to celebrate. I'm going to ask going you to... one question. Your uh -huh. parents, is it plural uh -huh. or singular? It's plural. It's plural. Very good. Plural. And okay. with plurals, do we use is or are? Are. Uh, are. Very good. How are so what's... Your... Okay. okay. So what's the answer, William? How are your parents going to celebrate New Year's Eve? Very good. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. I confuse because in the word your, 
we have a letter R. Oh, no. The thing is that uh -huh. your, your is for possession. Me? Your is for possession. Uh, okay. Yeah, it can be for you or it can be for you and Mario, for example. Uh, right? Okay, okay. I okay. can ask you, what, Mario and William, what's your favorite class? And then okay. I, I'm using your for possession. Para preguntarles okay. algo que le gusta. Okay? okay? Good? Okay, thank you. Any other questions? Any other? No, no, no questions. Oh. Okay, okay, bye bye then. Te dejo trabajar. Bye, I'll let you work. Okay. Bye. Okay, you have a reason. How are, how are your parents going to celebrate this year's Eve? Uh huh. Eh, Josué. Sería, they, they are. Mm, no. Según lo que yo vi en el video, era, es where, como, un, déjeme ver. O oh, así, espérame, espérame. Así, they. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok, they. Are. Going to, to, to the neighbor's party. To their neighbor's party, okay. Neighbor's party. Do you have a question? Uh, Margarita Stella, no? No, no. no. okay. <laughs> <laughs> very good job, very good job. I can see your sentences here. Very good. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. 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 What's going your sister to do for how for her birthday, creo? What are you Hi, do you have a question? Hello. Hi, do you have a question? You finished? Yes. Yes. You finished. Perfect. Very good. Okay, very good. So what's the answers that you have? ¿Cuáles son las respuestas que tienen? Díganme, cuéntenme antes que nos vayamos con todo el grupo. How are you going to spend your summer vacation? Okay, that's number one. Esa ya estaba. Dígame la del número dos. Ah. Who? Oh. What are you going to do for Halloween? Perfect. Next one. Uh, I don't know. I am not going to do anything special. Okay. How are your parents going to celebrate? New Year's Eve. Eve, uh -huh. They are going to go to their neighbor's party. They are going to go to their neighbor's party. Eh, déjeme, uh -huh, déjeme que aquí su compañía, Susan. Para que ah, me, okay. Que me diga okay. Susan, sí. Okay. <laughs> Susan? Okay. They are go to their neighbor's party. Okay. And number What? five? What are you sister do for her birthday? What what are you sister? Okay, le hago una pregunta, Susan. Your sister, it's plural or singular? Singular. Singular, very good. If I have singular with singular, do I use are or is? Is what is, is your sister? Uh, what is your sister going to do? Going to do for her her day? For her birthday, okay. And her boyfriend? Her boyfriend gonna take her is, out to dinner. Is is gonna take her out to dinner? To dinner, perfect. Perfect, very good. Ya estamos. 
Ya me pueden responder cuando vayamos allá. ¿Ok? ¿Estamos listos? Gracias. Ok. Yes. Nos vemos un ratito. So how was the practice? Good? Bad? Comparamos no. respuestas? Good? Okay. So we already practiced with number one. So we'll have four volunteers. Right? And I need you to tell me the answers. Uh, mm -hmm. Teacher. Okay. One. Number one. Uh, number one is complete. You go somewhere with number two. And William with number three. Okay, so say so yeah, okay. uh, Samuel y Susana, William y Mario. Okay, so let's start. Okay. Samuel? Okay. What are you going to do for Halloween? No, that's 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 number number uh, three. I need you to do number two number two, Samuel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Samuel, number two. Number two. Teacher, ¿Podría compartir la pantalla, por favor? Okay. I number two. Estamos con el mismo ejercicio. Ahorita solo quiero okay. que me compartan sus respuestas. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. No, I Samuel. Don't. Samuel, number two. Number two, here. Who? Ah, okay. Who? Who? Uh, who, are, who are your parents going to celebrate New Year Eve? No, Samuel, number two. El número dos, number two. Okay. Who, uh, who are you going to invite to Thanksgiving dinner? Very good. Who are you going to invite to Thanksgiving dinner? Very good. Susan, I. ¿Quién se va I'm going to ask my family and some good friends. Perfect. Very good. Let's go, William and Mario, number three. Okay. What are you going to do for Halloween, Mario? Mario? Mario, maybe you are on mute. Tal vez le puso mute al micrófono. Okay. I I don't I don't know. I'm not going to do I am I am going not to do anything special. Very good. I'm not going to do anything special. Very good. So who wants to do number four? Volunteers for number four? Me teacher. Me? Okay. Clarice, Clarissa and Josué. Okay, let's go with Clarissa okay. and then Josué. Clarissa. How are your parents gonna celebrate New Year's Eve? ¿Quién trabajó con Clarissa? I am. Tonya? Okay, Josué. They? They are, they are gonna do their neighbor party. They are gonna? Go to their neighbor party. To their neighbor's party. Very good. To the neighbor's party. And the last one, number five. ¿Quién va con el número cinco? Me, me teacher. Lester. Okay, Lester. What are your sister going to do for her birthday? Okay. ¿Quién trabajó con Lester? Me teacher. Okay. Her boyfriend 
is gonna take her out to dinner. Okay, her boyfriend is going to take her out to dinner. Okay, very good. We're going to do something. Vamos a ver acá. Vamos a hacer algo con, con estas respuestas, con la última. Hey, Lester, necesito que me diga la última respuesta de nuevo. Okay? One more time. Her boyfriend is going to take her out to dinner. Okay, ¿en cuál es la pregunta que usted leyó? What are your sister going to do for her birthday? Okay, good. So, I'm going to ask you all a question right now. Pay attention. If I have your sister, your sister, is this your sister, is it singular or plural? Singular. What do you think? Singular. 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 Very good. Lester, pay attention. Okay, Maria let's do. So if I have your sister okay. is singular. And for singular nouns, do we use is. are or is? Is. 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 Okay, very good. So Lester, how can we fix this question? Because you what have is your sister going to do for her birthday? Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. You always need to think about uh, the plural or singulars of the verse. Let's suppose that we have your sisters, right? Just solo fiense, solo la S le cambie, right? Your sisters, right? If I have this, this is going to become plural, right? And then the verb is going to change to what? What would be the verb? Are. Are. Right? Solo por el cambio de una letra. Okay. So we have to be very, very careful. Uh, someone said to me, but we use your. Mm, yes, but your is for position. Right? We're referring to you. Is that clear? Estamos bien yes, con teacher. eso? Yes, yes, teacher. Okay. Good. Perfect. So, we have this example, right? And we're going to continue here with special occasions, right? With the special occasions, we are going to have, well, some, uh, objectives that we're going to cover, right? Can you help me out and read these objectives, uh, Marielos? Can you see the objectives? No aparece. No, compartir pantalla. ¿Me aparece? No? No, no me aparece. Okay. Let me try one more time. What about now? Yes, teacher. Okay. A special occasion. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussion. Mm -hmm. How do you say discussing? Discussing. Discussing how to celebrate a special occasion. How to celebrate, very good. For discussing how to celebrate a special occasions. So this is the topic. Did you watch the video? Vimos el video? Si, sí, no? Yes. yes, I did. Yes, okay, very good. Yes, it's true. I feel. Yes, Al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán vocabulario para discutir cómo celebrar ocasiones especiales. Este video es corto porque solo se trata de eso, vocabulario, right? That's what we're doing. So, we're going to go back here. Give me one second. And we're going to watch the video very quick. Right? And then we're going to move to another activity. Oh my goodness, it's very slow. Okay, there we are. Can you see the computer, the, the screen, the video? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. It's just one minute, so I need you to After pay attention. After you complete this activity. Can you listen to it? Yes, yes. Okay. yes, yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, so let's start. Share your work in our discussion forums. Oh, it's a pastel final. 
Hello, Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for discussing how to celebrate special occasions. Let's start by listening to the vocabulary on this picture. Mother's Day. Father's Day. Graduation. Wedding. Anniversary. Send cards. Give presents. Take pictures. Sing songs. Dance. Eat cake. Have a party. Have a picnic. Eat special food. Wear special clothes. Now it's time to put these vocabulary words into practice. I would like for you to describe your plans for each of these special holidays. Mother's Day, Father's Day, graduation, wedding, anniversary. Uh, let me give a quick example. I'm going to take pictures for my daughter's graduation. I'm going to wear special clothes for my daughter's graduation. After you complete this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so we have there some uh, like words Father's or, Day. or vocabulary that we need to practice, right? So we have there these words. Can you see them? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, can. Okay, so I need one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I need some volunteers here. I need voluntarios que yo voy a escoger. Dennis, Estela, and Felix. Okay, I need you to practice the pronunciation. So, Dennis, you go with this. Estela, you go with this. And then, Felix, you go with the last three. Lex, I want to listen to your pronunciation. Hola, hola. Mm -hmm. Send cards. Send cards, okay. Give present. Give presents, okay, very good. Take pictures. Take pictures, okay, very good. Estela. Sing songs. Sing songs, okay, very good. Dance. Dance, okay, nice. Next one? Okay. Eat cake, very good. And we finish here. Have a party. Have a party, okay. Have a picnic. Have a picnic and? Eat, eat special, special food. food. Eat special food. Okay, very good. So this is the pronunciation. Do you have a question about pronunciation? No, teacher. No? Are you sure? Okay, I need you to help me out with the pronunciation then about this, this special occasions. Maria. I have a question. Yes, go ahead. What is different uh, entre comer lo de hit y lo de, o sea, cómo distinguir lo de hit y lo de caliente con H, hit? No sé si me explico. Oh, but you mean, uh, you mean, uh, let's see. You mean this word, lo vamos a notar acá. I'm gonna write it here. You mean eat like this and hit. Uh huh. See. Okay. Listen to the pronunciation, right? Because eat, eat is just like that. Eat. I am going to eat a pizza. I am going to eat lasagna. I am going to eat um, mac and cheese, right? Eat. And this one is hit. Hit, the heater, right? So it's like we, we have like as, como que si tuviéramos una J al inicio, hit, pero es suavecita. No la pronunciamos a los salvadoreños, right? Hit. And this one is eat, right? The pronunciation is different and the spelling is different. La pronunciación es diferente y la escritura es diferente. 
right? So that would be the difference. Y definitivamente no las usamos en el mismo context, contexto. At, unless you're saying, I am going to heat what I'm going to eat. Voy a calentar lo que voy a comer. That would be the only, the only way. Right? Is that clear? Yes. Yes? Are you sure? Sí, está, está claro. Sí, ok, good. Yes, ok, good. So, let's continue here. We we're working with the video, right? Ok, very good. So, tell me here the pronunciation of this, Mario. Pronunciation only. Mario, are you there? Mother's Day. Uh -huh. Father's Day. Graduation, wedding, uh, anniversary. Anniversary. Very good. Anniversary. So we anniversary. have anniversary. Like the anniversaries that you have with uh, your wife, for example, or your husband, right? Those are the ones we're talking about here, right? Okay. Anniversaries. Entonces vemos las palabras que nos tenemos que aprender. This is the vocabulary. But at the end of the video, we have some examples that we're going to work with. Look at this. I'm going to take pictures for my daughter's graduation. Right? That's one example, right? So here I have some exercises that we're going to work with. If I have this, I'm going to take pictures for my daughter's graduation. So what would be the formula? Veamos la oración y díganme ustedes cuál es la fórmula que estoy utilizando en este ejemplo. Subject. Ok. Subject. Verbi. Verbi. Plus going to. Going to. Plus verb. Plus verb. Plus. Plus complement. Plus complement. Y en este caso, el complement, ¿cómo lo vamos a llamar? Special occasion. A special occasion. Very good. A special occasion. And then a period, right? Okay, very good. If I have this, so what would be an example of your own? Vamos a crear nuestros propios ejemplos. This is the formula, right? Subject plus verb B plus going to plus verb plus a special occasion. So what would be an example? Utilicemos el vocabulario que acabamos de practicar. Teacher, I just mm -hmm. have a question. What Go do, ahead. What do you mean? What do you mean? Where? W E. I think it's A R. W E. In another. A. This and this. This one, William. Yes. Yes. This one. Where is to put clothes on? Right? Okay. Yes, that's where is to put clothes on. Where significa ponerse ropa. Y este verbo es bien, es bien uh -huh. complicado. Este pongamos atención todos. Porque es bien complicado cuando lo confundimos usualmente con eh, use. En español decimos voy a usar esta camisa. Right? I use or I put. Exactly. So we use use, usar, pero en, en inglés tenemos que usar wear. Look, wear clothes, right? Wear clothes. She's wearing, we can say right now, Margarita is wearing jeans and a t-shirt. Margarita está usando pantalones, eh, jeans y está utilizando una camiseta. Right? So where is to put clothes on, right? To carry or have on the body, right? Like clothing. That's what we, we use it for, okay? Thanks so much, teacher. You're welcome. So I have here the examples. What could be an example for this? Let's follow this formula. Sigamos la formula. Ya la tenemos. ¿Cuál sería un ejemplo? She is going to. She is going to cook in the in the kitchen. In the kitchen. 
Okay. For my Father's Day. For Father's Day. For Father's Day. That's perfect. Very good. She's going to cook in the kitchen for Father's Day. Perfect. We have the formula. You see? Very easy, right? Another example. Let's see. Como no quieren participar, yo lo voy a dar aquí. Lester. Another example. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. She's going to... She's going to give a present for for the graduation for his daughter. For, okay, for the graduation of her daughter. Okay, now, necesito que pongamos también atención. Piensa esto aquí, acá, vamos a hacerlo rapidito, porque ya nos queda poquito tiempo. We have Father's Day. Y tenemos esa parte donde estamos como, tenemos como una, com, una comita arriba, un apóstrofe, right? Father's Day. Y eso, si lo quisiéramos hacer más largo, sería Day of the Father, right? That's what we have, Day of the Father, right? Pero no lo vamos a decir así porque sería una forma de, de, de que no nos entendieran en Estados Unidos. Was it day of the father? What is Father's Day? Ah, Father's Day is day of the father, right? Y así, es, así lo aprendemos a decir cuando estamos empezando. Pero la forma correcta de decirlo es Father's Day. Esto no es el verbo to be, ¿ok? This is not verb be, right? Esto es solamente una forma de utilizar los posesivos en inglés. Nos dice que, ah, este es of the. Eso es como decir of that. Entonces aquí tengo, she's going to give a present for the graduation of her daughter. ¿Cómo lo podríamos cambiar? ¿Cómo podríamos cambiar esta parte? Solamente my, agregamos aquí. My daughter's. Ajá. Daughter's. My daughter's graduation. Daughter's graduation. Very good. So we have this. For... For the, for her daughter's graduation, right? Entonces tenemos que eh, ver los posesivos. ¿Ya habían trabajado los posesivos en los, en los anteriores? No. Yes, teacher. Yes. <laughs> no, teacher, it's my first. Uh, it's your first. Entonces first. Les, voy a deja, les voy a dejar una imagen en el WhatsApp con los posesivos, solo para que los eh, recuerden, ¿ok? Solo para que, no es tarea ni nada, pero para que lo recuerden. So, do... I have yes. a question. Yes. Y siempre quedaría el here, ahí. Yes, because we're talking about she. She's going to give a present for her daughter's graduation. Este her está diciendo que es el posesivo de ella. Mm -hmm. es, entonces, estos dos van relacionados, right? Pero si decimos que es la hija de alguien más, por ejemplo, she's going to give a present for uh, Silvia's daughter graduation. So that would be different. Mm -hmm. Ese es otro relajo. Right? We can say mm -hmm. Silvia's, right? Para la graduación de mi hija, por Silvia's daughter graduation. And the position changes, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So that would be another so option. Mm -hmm. So that means that it's not her daughter, it's another person's daughter, right? You see here? Okay. Yes. Very good. So we have practiced today the WH questions, right? And we have gone to special occasions. So we have the practice of special occasions using WH questions, right? It must be a little special occasions, but we have some practice to do on the on the platform, right, right here. After you watch the video for special occasions, have you practiced with the reading activity? This one. 
Este reading no lo hacemos tanto en la clase porque es una skill que pueden hacer ustedes solos en la casa. Pero ¿cuáles son los trucos para hacer reading en scanning? Es anotar palabras o frases que no conocemos y hacernos amigos de esas frases. Right? Entonces, yo siempre, desde el inicio les dije, mantengan un cuaderno cerca, mantengan un, un documento en Google Docs abierto para cada vez anoten más información y vayan teniendo todo lo importante. Entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer acá? Entonces, Josué, can you please read this objective? ¿Puede verlo? Josué. Uy, ya se durmió. Me teacher. Ok, go ahead. By the end. By the end of this class, you will develop. Uh, how do you say develop? Develop, very good. Develop. Develop the skills in scanning and reading for the child by reading an article about birthday celebration in different countries. Al, ok, al final en esta clase desarrollarán habilidades de la detección de detalles en la lectura. ¿Cómo vamos a hacer esto? Ustedes van a ver el video, van a leer y van a ver todo el, el, el artículo que les muestran acá. Cuando hagamos el, el knowledge check, ¿verdad? Sobre esto, vemos que nos dan pedacitos específicos de la lectura. Cuando nos están dando pedazos específicos de la lectura, y we have this, right? Elena Buenaventura, Madrid. My 21st birthday is on Saturday, and I'm going to go out with some friends. To wish me a happy birthday, they are going to pull on my ear 21 times. So they're going to do it like, like this. Like they're going to do this on their ear. Right, 21 times, once for each year. It's an old custom. So some people pull on the ear just once, but friends are very traditional. So what are we looking at? Let's read the question. It says, to celebrate her birthday, Elena's friends are going to pull her ear 21 times. Esa es la pregunta. Y vamos a responder true or false, right? Ok, it's true. ¿Cómo hacemos eso? Eh, Mario fue, ¿verdad? Contestó. Ok. Entonces, ¿cómo hacemos eso? Vemos en la pregunta lo que nos están preguntando, valga la redundancia, right? Y vemos las palabras más comunes que tenemos acá y las identificamos en la lectura. ¿En qué línea, porque no es oración, sino que en qué línea de, de, esta, de este párrafo tenemos las palabras que se encuentran en la pregunta. When the article says, mm -hmm. they are going to pull on my ear 21 times. Okay, seventh. very good. In the seventh, seventh line, very good, very good. The seventh line, uh -huh. So the answer is true or false? It's true. It's true, okay. So let's see here. No vamos a contestar todas las demás. Cero me va a sacar en el curso por usted. So I have true. <laughs> right? Then I click on submit. Right? Uy, no me deja ya. Right? I click on submit. And that is true. So you look for similar information on the questions. Right? Here. And then you look for that information there. Así, ese es el scanning que deben de hacer. Eso no significa que no van a leer todo el artículo. Tienen que leer todo el artículo para entender un poquito más de lo que se está hablando. Luego que terminen de leer ese artículo, ya nos movemos a la siguiente actividad, que sería la, de la sección 2, que es called What's the Matter? Right? Section 2. ¿Está clear? ¿Estamos bien? Yes, ¿Alguna pregunta? Ok. No, 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 no. No se me duerma. Yo siento que se duerme, pienso. Okay. No, no, no. Ok. So, do you have a question for the activities? No. No, teacher. Ok. So, we're going to do more practices tomorrow. So, please watch the videos, complete the knowledge check, and it's very important that you do so. Right? Ok. So, we're going to finish here. Right? And I will let you go. Okay? 
Have a beautiful Thank night. Thank you. Bye bye. Have a beautiful Thank night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Bye bye. 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 Bye, teacher. See you. Bye. See you.